What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdoristish here. I'm back with another battle video, and this time I'm playing Mewtwo EX Celebi, uh, which was the deck that my opponent uh, run the last time we did a battle video. And as you saw, my opponent didn't draw a basic on his first try, so I can get an extra card for that. And of course, I'm going to uh, take that chance to draw that extra card because my deck is a donking deck, which revolves around Celebi Prime, uh, getting your attackers build up from turn one, and uh, yeah, basically donking and overpowering your opponent. And uh, my opponent is playing uh, Rash Eflosion on the left side, by the way, and uh, he already has a Rash Ram EX out, which means is the updated version with the EXs in it, uh, like Reshiram EX and the regular uh, Reshirams as well. So uh, if you have two Typhlosions out and uh, you attach a double Carlos to one of your Reshiram EXs, you can uh, build it up in one turn, so that's a pretty powerful, dealing 150 damage just by dropping a uh, Reshiram EX, giving a double Carlos energy and bang, 150 damage. So uh, pretty dangerous. Um, but it takes a while to set up, that's why he's using Collector for a Cleffa. Uh, Rush Eflosion always runs Cleffa because it needs a setup to uh, overpower, and uh, my deck just uh, uses basics and uh, energy acceleration as well. So I believe all the powerful decks uh, like uh, Rush Eflosion, Electric decks, uh, Celebi decks always run. Uh, uh, energy acceleration, that's why they're so good, getting more energy than to play really fast, so that's great. And uh, as you saw, he retreated his uh, Cyndaquil, and now he's using Eeg, the famous attack from Cleffa, which is uh, just exactly like a Professor Oak's new theory, so actually he's uh, did a Collector now, and uh, Collector first, and then he did uh, an Eeg, which is just like Professor Oak's new theory, so uh, this uh, should have... Uh, compared with uh, two supporters in one turn, that's why Cleffa is so good. And it's my turn, and uh, yeah, I have Salbi as my active, which is a great start. I'm placing Skyro Bridge down uh, right away, which is the stadium card, reduces uh, the retreat cost of each basic by one, and I'm using Pokegear, checking my top seven cards for a supporter. And uh, yeah, I got a Juniper, which is the main uh, supporter of this deck, because it doesn't run Collector and stuff. Uh, I believe it only runs one Collector and then a bunch of dual Balls to get your basics out, because your basics usually don't get knocked out that fast, and uh, if you have have something like an EX out with 180 HP of 170, you're just um, not that uh, eager to get uh, more basics out. And uh, yeah, I uh, did attach an energy, a uh, grass energy to my Tornadus by using Celebi Prime's Poke Power. And uh, now I'll uh, place uh, I uh, Celebi on the bench by Free Retreat because of Skyro Bridge, the stadium card, and now using Juniper. As you saw, I had a Shaman in my uh, hand, which was uh, my late game sweeper, but I do uh, run Super Rod so I can get it back if I need to, but if I don't need to, that's great. And now I'm attaching Double Carlos Energy. I run four copies of that because this deck usually runs on Double Carlos Energy Pokemon like Tornadoes, Mewtwo EX, uh, Regigigas, and stuff like that. So I'm using... Uh, my dual ball and it was a uh, heads and another heads, so that's uh, pretty uh, uh, lucky for me. I get out Reshi Gigas EX and U2 EX Full Art. Those are pretty nice cards. I uh, pulled them in my booster box opening. If you haven't checked that out, you should definitely check it out. So uh, <laughs> I say check it out quite a lot, but uh, it doesn't matter because it was epic. And then now I bench them all on the bench except for Reshi Gigas with a uh, retreat cost of four. It's just uh, not that smart to. Uh, Put that on the bench for now, except if I have another double Carlos energy or stuff like that. And I just knock out a Cyndaquil by catching it out. And that was my first move. So as you see, this deck is pretty damn fast. And with uh, the Tornadus, you can just move a basic energy to one of your other attackers. So it's a really good starter Pokemon, Tornadus and Celebi. And uh, yeah, you just overpower your opponent right here. And he attached an energy to his Rush Ram EX. I think he should have attached it to his uh, regular Rush Ram to knock out the uh, Tornadus that way. But uh, yeah, he does run double Carlos energy, so maybe he can. Uh, he want to show Rush Ram EX in action. I don't know, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. And uh, yeah, my uh, opponent isn't one of the professional players, so uh, he could be uh, making some mistakes here, but uh, he does run the Rush Eflosion EX deck. So uh, you uh, have a, a sneak peek at the deck on how it works and stuff like that. So as you see, he uh, uses Afterburner on his Rush Ram EX, so he must have a double Carlos energy. Uh, there's no way if he uh, didn't do that. And uh, the good thing is that you keep your double Carlos energy uh, for... Uh, the last uh, turn, because if you attach it now, uh, Loss Remover is a pretty playable card uh, right now because Prism Energy is being played, uh, what else is being played, uh, Double Cars Energies, uh, Special Darkness in the future, uh, then we have Rescue Energy, so lots of uh, Special Energies are being played, and Durand of course is playing uh, Special Metal Energy, so Loss Remover, a pretty good card, you should check it out if you haven't already, and it looks like he just uh, used Eek once again, and he's waking up again, so he's be, he'll be knocked out pretty soon. 
I'm uh, using Switch to get Salabi and the active spot once again to attach uh, two energies uh, per turn. That's why this deck is so good. You can use Switch and then retreat manually uh, the Salabi because it has free retreat. So now uh, I place a Reg Gigas on the bench, giving a double Carlos energy and uh, attaching an energy due to uh, Salabi's at uh, attack or uh, Poke Power, yeah. And just uh, building up Reg Gigas the X in one turn. And as you see, he has double Carlos energy in his deck, so he'll be a. Uh, Dealing 150 damage, but the thing he didn't plan on is that I had a Regigiga ZX uh, waiting to, uh, for that because uh, Regigiga ZX can uh, overpower everyone. Because if you deal damage to Regigigas, he can just use something like the Outrage, his second attack, 50 damage plus. I mean, uh, 50 damage, yeah, I wasn't so clear on that, but 50 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on Regigigas, which can deal, uh, what is it, uh, 170 damage counters or uh, 17 damage counters on your uh, Regigigas. Uh, plus 50, which means 220 damage. You can definitely knock out every EX, even if they have EVL Light. So that's why Regigigas is so good. And uh, he's using uh, Sage's training, which is a staple in this deck. He also has a, uh, a Typhlosion out. I uh, didn't mention that before, but uh, uh, yeah, he does have his setup, Reshiram EX. He has a Typhlosion and a regular Reshiram, but I already have uh, picked two prize cards. I knocked out a Cyndaquil and I knocked out a Cleffa. So, uh, my deck is uh, pretty powerful actually, I uh, never expected this deck to be so good, but it does run Mewtwo EX so, uh, and uh, other powerful attackers like Regigigas EX, so what do you expect if you have so powerful cards, you can build them up in one turn. Uh, yeah, it's a nice deck, but uh, if you don't have uh, that first turn uh, attack or dunk, uh, you can easily get overpowered by uh, the other playable decks, and as you saw, he did use his attack uh, from Reshram EX dealing 150 damage and then you flip a coin and it was hit so he didn't deal damage to itself but it didn't really matter because Regigigas EX I attach another energy and I'll be able to deal a lot of damage. I have a... Uh, like, uh, what is it, 150 damage on Regigigas, uh, plus 50, uh, which means I'll be able to deal 200 damage with my second attack, Regigigas, it's a beast, I know, with the EV Light it's even better, so, yeah, I'll knock it out, bang, it's out of there, so I'm uh, getting two prize cards, so uh, as you see, playing with EX has its downsides, you can, uh, your opponent can take two prize cards if it gets knocked out, but here you saw Reshram EX in play, and uh, some of my EXs as well, so I hope you uh, appreciate that, the uh, effort uh, we put in the video, because EXs are quite hard to get, and yeah, I just uh, got a couple of uh, EXs out right now. I got Regigigas and uh, my Full Art Mewtwo EX, and he's uh, using a uh, plus power, and I don't know why he's using plus power, but he puts his back in his hand, it was a mistake, and uh, now he's using, um, what is it, his Afterburner on his uh, Reshi Ram, which wasn't that good as well. He's going to um, redo that because he already has one damage counter on his Reshi Ram. And with the two energies and Outrage, you can just deal 30 damage and knock out uh, Regigigas that way. And that's why he's choosing uh, Afterburner on his Typhlosion instead. So there we have that. <laughs> Hopefully uh, that uh, was clear enough for you guys. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. And uh, he's getting two prize cards as well. So uh, playing with the axes uh, is way faster than with regular cards. Uh, you can take two prize cards in a row, so uh, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, it's pretty powerful indeed because if they have a supporter and the, the prize cards or something, or you need something in the prize cards, you can get it so much faster than uh, uh, when you only pick one uh, prize card. And uh, I do love playing with Reggie Gigas. Uh, that's why I'm checking my discard pile if I can get it back. Uh, yeah, Reggie Gigas. I only run one copy though, but uh, I only have one Reggie Gigas X. So. What else can I do? Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, Shaman EX is also in my uh, discard pile. I can't really get them out. Unless I have a uh, Super Hot. Uh, I also have the regular Shaman in this deck because uh, when you have a uh, Celebi out and uh, Skyro Bridge gets somehow uh, replaced by another Stadium card and he can't retreat it, you can just use Shaman, the regular one. I remove energies, that way you can still retreat even if you don't have Switch and stuff. So pretty nice and uh, yeah attach a double card to Tornadus uh, instead of a regular grass energy because uh, otherwise I just have to replace the energies and uh, Tornadus will be stuck in the active spot and uh, yeah I do have to retreat uh, it does have free retreat but I don't care double card energies uh, yeah it's not anything that special and still I have a Celebi out which can uh, just uh, get the energies if my Tornadus gets knocked out I can use the grass energies to build up another attacker uh, that, that's what I was thinking there, and uh, dual ball again, two heads. Um, I have a uh, really good luck today. Yeah, with this deck actually starting with the perfect hand, getting a 60 damage or 80 damage on the first turn, uh, just perfect for this deck. And again, get a sneak peek of my deck, another Mewtwo here, and a uh, Shaman. Yeah, Shaman is uh, great for moving the energies as I said. And my opponent is in a tough situation. I only need to pick two more prize cards and I win the game. But he does have a Typhlosion out and a Rush Ram. So maybe he can combine those two to work together to finally knock out my Tornadus and get uh, his third prize card. 
And if he knocks out Mewtwo there afterwards, he can get two prize cards more. So, yeah, but he's in a tough situation here. Hopefully he can uh, make his way to, uh, to a comeback. So it'll be an interesting video. Here we see an N. So my good hand, I have a lot of cards in my hand. So now I've used N. I, I only get two cards. So N is pretty disruptive at, uh, in late game. So I only get two cards. And while my opponent gets uh, four cards, N is really good. I see it. Uh, I'll... How many times did I say that N was good? You should check my videos. I say it a lot because it's just such a good card. Man, I'm so glad that they made an N full art because, uh, yeah, a playable supporter like that has to be full art. <laughs> uh, let's see what my opponent can do. He just checks his discard pile if he has anything special or something. And one afterburner, which is going to go to Reshiram. Nah, I don't think so. He's going to... Uh, replace that for uh, Typhlosion, now he gets a damage counter, so he's still doubting on doing stuff because he, he's uh, in a, such a tough situation that he just manages uh, to lose control here and uh, he uses Catcher, uh, I think he's uh, uh, going insane or no, no, he's using uh, Catcher for Salby, I thought he was going to stall but all my Pokemon have free retreat and Mewtwo would just knock him out, but he used Catcher for a Salby uh, and he had one damage counter so he could use Outrage for 30 damage and, uh, with the weakness times 2 to knock out Salby, that was pretty smart of him, so he does knock out my energy acceleration that way, gets a prize, so he only needs 3 more prize cards and I only need 2 more prize cards, so it's uh, pretty interesting here, it gets good, and uh, yeah, Super odd, getting uh, my Shaman back in my deck as well as Reg Gigas, and uh, we'll see what I get. Uh, Juniper, I'll use the plus power as well, which is stays in play right now because uh, the rule has changed for plus power. Usually you had to attach it in the Diamond and Pearl series, but uh, here you just uh, lay it uh, on the field and it just uh, gets discarded afterwards. It counts for every Pokemon now. So uh, Juniper and Junkarm, and using Catcher for Typhlosion. I don't want energy acceleration anymore. I'm going to knock it out as soon as I can, which is right now. Knockout, Hurricane, bang. And now it's my opponent's move. I only need to pick one more prize card. And now it's my opponent's move and he just uh, attaches an energy. And he's going to use blue flare I believe. But uh, that's pretty great because I don't have uh, that many good attackers. Only Mewtwo EX but it uh, only works if your opponent has many energies attached to him. And uh, it looks like he only has uh, one energy left if he uses blue flare. So uh, that's a, a, a bunch of commentary uh, at once, hopefully uh, everything's clear enough, and uh, yeah, he does run Rocky Helmet to counter Magnazone, I believe, and stuff like that, which has uh, more than 120 HP, so Blue Flare, and bang, he knocks out uh, Tornadus. So now I'm uh, pretty stuck, I can, I can use Mewtwo, and yeah, he will be able to use uh, Outrage afterwards, but that won't be enough, so I'm pretty safe here, uh, I only need to pick one more prize card, so it shouldn't be that hard for Mewtwo to knock out the restaurant. he does have Eevee Light, which makes it a bit harder, and yeah, I do attach a Prism Energy, which means I have three energy it's attached to my Mewtwo, and he has one energy left on his uh, restaurant, which revolves into 80 damage, but if you uh, count uh, Eevee Light, it deals 60 damage, so a lot of mana is involved in uh, Pokemon, <laughs> especially with Eviolite and Rocky Helmet situations, and there we go. Uh, new hand for me with Professor Oak's new theory, one of the staple decks, uh, or the staple cards in every deck, very good supporter, and what I'm going to do next, I'm going to place a decoy Mewtwo, another Mewtwo, and I'm going to attach an uh, Eviolite to my Mewtwo, because uh, he's going to uh, go and catch that Mewtwo, I guess, because that was my plan, he thinks he's going to have a uh, advantage when he plans to catch her my uh, Mewtwo, except if he has N, then he will be uh, safe I guess, but uh, that Mewtwo on the bench is just for a decoy, I want to test out something because I do have Max Potion in my deck and I just want to see his face if I just uh, smack that uh, um, Max Potion on the field and then removing all the damage from my Mewtwo that way, I also have Switch so it doesn't really matter, hopefully he catches him because uh, that'll be nice. And now the next energy to is a uh, Reshiram catcher for my uh, Mewtwo and he deals, uh, I believe it was uh, 70, 90 damage to my Mewtwo. Bang. Or uh, what is it? 70 damage, I don't know. I just heal it off with Max Potion, so it doesn't really matter and uh, there we go. Uh, just using Switch, he fell for the decoy and bang. He's done for. <laughs> that was a pretty insane because Mewtwo with a lot of energies is really dangerous. I can't say it enough. You just have to get your hands on those Mewtwo axes. And I just remember that not all of the Mewtwo axes in this battle video were actually the real deal. Uh, only one was real, but uh, the other ones were uh, just proxies, which were really good made, by the way. And uh, yeah, 
all, all the rest of the X's were real, except for Shaman, I believe. I still need that one. But I, I plan on trading that with a friend, so uh, don't bother uh, trading for uh, other stuff that I am looking for. And uh, with that, I'll leave you all. I hope you had a good time watching this battle video with EXs. I know I'm uh, one of the first people that actually post uh, battle videos with EXs. Except for uh, the other people that I know that do online battles, which is great as well. I do have uh, some U2 EXs on there that I will be testing out in the next battle... Oh, what am I saying? On the next battle video because I had suggestions making uh, uh, online battles as well. And yeah, thanks again for watching. This was Sabdo's TCG and yo!